On today's episode of Watch Chair Go, we're gonna try to change the head gaskets in, well, basically five hours. Now, I was gonna say one day. What is going on, guys? I'm Watch Chair Go, and today we're here with a bunch of boxes from Amazon. We're gonna open these guys up and shut up all the parts we need to do the entire top end of this engine tonight. And we're gonna try to do it tonight as well. I think this one's the water pump. Get this stuff open. Oh, check out that beautiful AC Delco box. AC Delco, what? Uh, 252718. Somebody scratched the numbers off a little bit there. Okay, part one. Don't worry, I didn't throw stuff on a hood. I would never slide anything on paint. Uh, 741 25513. Nothing special, it's a thermostat. I've got a new gasket for the housing and a new o ring for the thermostat inside. All right, there's a giant box that says gaskets. We've got a new timing belt, a new timing belt idler or tensioner, some cheap RTV, Visabella, and bolts, head bolts, and seals. Now that we've unboxed everything, water pump, water pump gasket. You know that O'Reilly's joke about Googling that part number? That's that one O'Reilly, that's, that's what that looks like. Anyway, uh, here's our new water pump. I think I'm gonna go ahead and start swapping the water pump out while we wait for everybody else to show up or start tearing it down. One of the two. So I'm gonna start by uh, getting this uh, Perrin silicone intake tube that didn't work out yesterday off. I did buy a new one from Vibrant and it's gonna be even cooler. It's still red, but it says Vibrant. Perrin's pretty solid, right? But Vibrant is the turbo king. So pretty happy to have those on board. Throw this one over there. We're still gonna use it to start the engine today. But for now, Let's figure out what has to happen to get the entire intake assembly off of here. And honestly, it just looks like I need to go grab a 12 or a 13. Looks like somebody took this apart once before and didn't put this bottom bolt back in where it belongs. And I wonder why. Is it because this is a terrible design? Yes, the answer is yes. There's a bolt under the intake tube. Yep, plug wire came apart. We are making good progress other than the broken spark plug wire. I stopped for a second so I could uh, lay the wires out and take a picture of how they were connected so I can reconnect a new set. I guess I should just go ahead and trash these since I have to put a new set on. And uh, I wanted to make sure I could put them back without having to think, so taking a picture, easy method. Always, always go the easy method, you know? Let's get the distributor connector off of here if I can. Man, that thing is on there. I'm gonna try to pop as much stuff off as I can without having to uh, disassemble anything. So it's tricky because I've never, obviously I've never worked on this one six or any of this routing before, but uh, I definitely wanna leave as much stuff hooked up as possible to make my life easy as it all goes back together. So pull off these vacuum solenoids here, put the bolts back into the end of the intake, the upper intake that is and then hopefully I can just set everything aside. That is the game plan, ladies and gentlemen. You know the drill, put bolts back where they came from, that way it's easy to put it all back together and you don't have to think about it. That is not the drill that the previous owner followed because he handed me, well not me, he handed Amborghini a plastic bag of bolts and I was like, figure it out. So I do have a plastic bag of bolts to go work on. These tins on the uh, water pump drive here are coming off relatively easily. I have a feeling the more and more I work on this and more and more things look like they've been apart, I'm gonna get in here and find out that this thing skipped a tooth and uh, the valves crashed into the pistons here. So we're gonna find out. There we go. All of those vacuum lines are off. I can set those solenoids to the side. Good deal. All right, got that guy off. There's our throttle cable bracket. Put all the screws back in place on that for sure. Things that you don't want to lose here. Let's see, the bolt goes on the bottom, nut goes on the top. All right, we gotta head out to go take care of uh, Tyler's cars here. Gabe's gonna roll with me on that and then we'll come back to this bad boy. But uh, first, I'm gonna get this exhaust heat shield off. 
Please don't break the studs. Should have used the impact on this, that's for sure. These bolts are rusty. Yeah, it's not quite on the bolt all the way, but now I can move it at least. Yeah, motor mount is right there too. Yep. Who does this? Who thought this up, you know? Probably me. Probably something I would do. That's insane. Woo! Look at that. Check out that cracked header. Guess I should start making some calls. That's a big old crack. I'm sure that'll buff out. Okay. Which buffer are you gonna use? Is it the one with the uh, welding wire? It's the one that's got a big uh, cutting disc on the end of it. Okay. <laughs> Gabe's over here marking uh, timing real quick. I'm getting the impact again and trying to get the exhaust off. It does look like we're gonna have to send it to one of my buddies real quick and have him uh, patch that up. But let me grab some gloves again because we're dealing with the oily carbon side and I'm going to get this apart as fast as I can. Right. So, Ooh, what else I got last night? 120 tooth. <gasps> I've been wanting that to Dude, that is pretty. <laughs> this, it makes all the good sounds. And it's black chrome too. Yes, it is black That's chrome. pretty. Yeah, and how on earth are all of these coming off? I put knocker loose on them, but they're all just, like, they're not all covered in knocker loose. So, uh, you know, maybe it was just their time. Maybe it was. I haven't broken a stud yet. Okay, that one's Whoa, gonna need a ratchet careful, wrench. Careful now. What? Yeah, yeah, don't say <laughs> don't that. Don't say that. <laughs> I put tons of knocker loose on here, so this one's coming right off. Just kidding. Let me move out of the way so it doesn't hit my face. <laughs> it's not coming off at all. Okay, there we go. Man, that one is tight. The whole thing just came loose. All right, well, we didn't break it. That's good. All right, I gotta get a wrench under that one. Under which one? This one. Is, I'll need a 12 mil ratchet to put in there. All right, uh, this water pump plate. Do you have a new water pump that's going on Completely there? Completely new water pump. The only thing is there's studs in that water pump. Yeah, I'm looking at that. This has also got something to do with its uh, timing system. Timing. Yeah. I saw that. Nonsense. Where's the new one? Yeah, AC Delco box. Okay. I'm gonna have to hop underneath this guy. Good thing we got those chocks under there. Through that. It says only dot three, so I bought dot four like a boss. Uh -oh. Yeah, I'm gonna tell this car what's up. <laughs> you work for me now. Yeah, <laughs> we put good brake fluid in you. <laughs> Where can I jump in? Wherever, intake side is coming apart. But yeah, we just need to get the intake off, really. Okay, too easy. The exhaust is almost off. Uh, yeah, the main wire harness is unhooked, actually. Okay, get your... So yeah, the, yeah that, that could come off temp sensor. Just pull. Just pull. There. I just wiggled it off earlier and then I put it back on. Pull hard. What are you doing? I'm trying to wiggle it off. <laughs> he said to it was like the easiest thing I've ever taken off in my life. It earlier. did not want to come out. Let me try this. I didn't even push on it, Gabe. <laughs> oh, man. So yeah, I unhooked all the vacuum stuff there, everything I could, all of this stuff's apart, so I think it's like the big stuff, and yeah, you know, you know the drill. I gotcha. Okay, I've got, I ordered a set of sockets just for O2 sensors. I'm really excited to use those. No, I have those. I, I do too. Okay, I bought a whole set. Woo first time using these. O2 sensor socket set. I wonder if it's gonna be easier to remove their fuel rail. That's what I wondered. Uh, the way it's routed, it might be. Wow, it's that one, first try. Nice. Kind of amazed. Unfortunately, I do have to actually unhook the O2 sensor to do that. I'm going under. Hopefully I can find these lower exhaust bolts. Wow, the ball joints are in good condition. That's good. It may not be the world's biggest nightmare to fix. All right, 13 and 14. Thank you, sir. Oh, sure. It's good. Woo! Look at that. Oh, the bottom of the manifold victory. bolts. Yes, that is a victory, no doubt about it. All right, I'm gonna try to go back in with this O2 sensor socket now that the wire is all the way off. I don't have to worry anymore. Uh, 
Here we go, the professional O2 sensor re removal solution. There you go. This will get it off. It better. <laughs> it better. I'm making progress on the O2. I got the lower bolts off the manifold. There's these two bolts that we put back on temporarily to help get the O2 off. Uh, Gabe has all the bolts out of the upper over here on the intake side, I think. Yeah, we hope. Something, <laughs> maybe, maybe. All right, while you do that, uh, I'm going to get this O2 the rest of the way out and then knock the exhaust off. Sounds like blam. Which I'm pumped about. How pumped are you? Uh, as pumped as you can get pumped. Mm. So, probably a lot. Oh man, I just noticed the hot glue job right there. That's pretty sick. Isn't that? I love it. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. <clears throat> That's a trade secret there, I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I mean, I didn't do that, there. but I was like, you know what, I'm not fixing it, because it's not <laughs> It's not like you can find any parts for this thing. All right. So. Woohoo, O2 sensor. Nice. It moved a little, didn't it? I don't know. It appears to have. Yeah, there it is. Nice, nice. Whee! This is good work we're doing right here. How, how long's it been? I have no idea. 45 minutes? Maybe. All right, well, this is the exhaust and that's the upper intake plenum. I still need to go bag these bolts so I don't lose all the yeah. loose track of stuff. I know you've been making meat piles over there. Yeah, and as long as I don't knock my elbow, we'll be right. Ready. And come on, there's my exhaust. Ooh wee, that girl's heavy. I wonder if I can find an aftermarket pipe header. Have fun with that. Right. Nice. That's it. Hey! Yeah, we buddy. Part. Woo! Hey, look, more brackets. More brackets, man. I did take that off, right? Okay. Yeah, you got that. I thought I had most of it ready to come out with the if the injectors would stay on the rail. I get to use my new ratchet for the first time. Uh oh. Ah. Come on. Make room for the fanfare. Dun 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 dun. dun. <laughs> it's so cool that it clicks so much. It'd be worth it, man. Ooh, check that out. That was easy. Nice. Hey. Lots of RTV in there. Do you like that spark plug wire that broke? Oh, dude, that's awesome. Yeah. I tried everything I could. I see, well, I mean, now you can get it out. Now I can get it out. The cam looks good too, there's no scoring. Well, all right, there's some burning on it, but you know, no scoring. They do say it's time to adjust the valve, so. Uh, yeah, I would definitely say that. Yeah. That seemed fun. It was. This thing's gonna break loose, isn't it, when I, uh, it's under compression. What? Yeah. Oh, just kidding. Timing belt removed. That was the easiest part of the whole thing. Yep. Glad I did all the work, aren't you? Hey, man. You, you did. You did. Work. I'm proud of you. Alternator bracket has to come off to get the water pump off. Thanks, Gio. Suzuki. Whoever we're blaming. Water pump coming off. Gabe's finishing up the lower. We're making good progress here. <laughs> you seem to have done a lot more than I have so far. <laughs> it's just because I took off the one big thing that only had like 15 bolts holding it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that's all. Well, then I took off this big thing. Oh. See, you just take off bigger pieces. That's what it is. I have all these little pieces here. Yeah, you They're do. in the way. You sure do. Get you gonna come back. I need about tree fitting. <laughs> I need about tree fitting. <laughs> that's it. I ain't giving you no tree 50, you long press monster. That's about the time I realized that Girl Scout was a three-story creature from the Mesozoic area era. No, oh, but she was so cute. <laughs> <laughs> I gave her a dollar. <laughs> you woman, you gave her a dollar. <laughs> That's why she's all coming back. One good thing about having so much grease on this engine <laughs> is that the bolts, bolts come out easy. Well, no, it's not just that. I mean, they hang in the socket. That's so you don't have to worry about dropping them. Yep. It, they're, they're there. I understand. All right, I gotta, I gotta take, take a break. No, no, no. I gotta pull my phone and take a look. Hey, look at that. Man, that thing is gross. That is awesome. Yeah. That looks a little bit like my Opal when I pulled it. Yeah? Yeah, I was, uh... I mean, it runs smooth. Water pump seems to run smooth. There's no play in the shaft. No up and down, no side to side. Oh well, new one's going on anyway. Hey! All right, keep going. Ah, yes, teamwork. We can only see this through about a half inch hole in the intake runner. 
There it is, there it is, there it is. Nice. I got the it's off. Got the nut. Ah! Ah! Is that it then? No. There's one more. <laughs> Let's see, the head bolts look to be about a seven millimeter. But they're bigger. Don't worry. Tiny. I was wrong. Seven really? millimeter hex, right? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Like, but it's no way. It's actually eight millimeter hex. Yeah. Right? That's it. Went straight in. What's up? Oh, it came off so easy. What? Yeah. That's not good. I like. I mean, it's a half inch ratchet, but I didn't put any pressure on that. I, I mean, just pushed. Dude, you should have what? 70 pounds of torque on there? I was gonna say, close to 100. Try, try, oh wow, look at that. They're all bad. Check that out. That is impressive. It was literally, it had to have been like spraying exhaust, it, blowing yeah, everything, everything by the head gasket, yeah. yeah. You know what, just see what you can take off, just, you know, finger tight, just <laughs> I bet you can get them most of them, I if would, not all. I wouldn't doubt it. Uh, you know, that's important. You know, it keeps it, the engine from blowing apart. That one was like a click, dude. The lightest click of all time. Oh, this one's finger tight or less. Nice. It's not even on. Maybe somebody worked on this and didn't actually tighten the head bolts, you know? Cam's gonna come out and uh, then we're gonna get the rest of the head off and Gabe will be done with the intake in any second now. He's basically there. One can hope. Yeah, I mean, it looks like you're done. Whoa! Man, that one was tight. And that one was easy. One man, one desire. His name, Little Tortilla Boy. You'll never get away with my tortillas. You gotta pull EGR. Are you kidding? Nope. Totally, totally not kidding. Ouch. No. Yeah, yeah, because the EGR valve is holding this bolt that's holding this harness that is the main engine harness. <sighs> We're getting there. Boy, this thing is full of surprises. It is. What. Only two more bolts, though. Didn't we say that, like, like 12 yeah, bolts ago? Probably an hour ago at this point. Everything was going real fast until this nonsense intake. Everything was going fast for you. I'd been working on that intake the entire time. Yeah. <laughs> and now, taking credit for all of Gabe's work, Just kidding. That's okay, you earned it. You worked hard for this. No, man. look at the fuel lines run through that EGR line. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm completely serious. So now we have to pull this EGR line off. <laughs> Why are they obsessed with EGR in this car? There it is. All right, there you go, take your credit. Wow. What a giant nasty piece of finally poo. And the flowers are still standing. That was insane. All right. Dang. Thoughts, questions, concerns? Uh, gasket look kind of cool? Yeah, gasket looks okay. All right. Distributor coming off. The one thing we didn't think we were gonna have to separate from the head, I just looked at it and I was like, that'll obviously go with the head as a single piece. And yeah, it will. I guess we don't have to pull the cam right now. Oh. No, we do. We have to pull the cam because of the head bolts. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh. Look at all that oil. Yeah, that gear is, there is no way to remove that. What? The distributor. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or to take the cam out yeah. without having done yeah. that. Yep, now we gotta replace this O-ring. That thing is shot. That is one trash. That's probably the oil leak that's all over this engine. Yeah. So, you good news is that that rear main seal is... Yeah. What a disaster. You guys, you see all this oil? I don't know if you can, but it's been burning oil onto this thing. And you can see actually like a, there's a gap right there where oil was moving through. Yeah. That was... And if we could move the camera closer, I don't know we can right now, but you'd actually see, you can see so where it's coming much. down. The whole bell housing covered in oil. All right, so yeah. this cam bearing should come now. Yeah, that might need to tap. It might need a tap, yeah. but the bolts are very out. Yep, tap away, I got the bolts. There it goes, you got it. Ta-da! Cam is free, bearing's free. Bearing looks all right. Cool, RTV on everything. Look at your uh, 
guides, so what as are, compared to everything else. Yeah. There's a little, they're a little milky. I think they're filled with RTV if you look at the bolts, though. That is insane. Filled with RTV. Somebody tried to fix it and was bad at fixing things. Yeah, let's... Cam thoughts? You want the, you want the rag? Yeah, thank you. And once we get the cam cleaned up, really take a look at it. All right. Right now, though, I don't see any scoring. I don't see any any real issues. This discoloration here and whatnot. This head bolt is tight. That's the one that was holding everything together. Yep. Oh, wow. I had everything in it. What does it take? It takes everything. I didn't mean to ask you. I've never seen you and Batman in the same place at the same time. Well, I live a pretty private life. <laughs> Tripod camera died, we had to call it on that one. But the intake is off. Gabe finally got that thing separated, upper and lower, and got it out. There's like, what, seven brackets holding the thing in? It was it was a mess. Not counting the ones we broke. <sighs> and the exhaust came out really easily for some reason. No studs broken, anything like that. And the head is here, the cam is out, the distributor's off. Let's see what's up. I'll let you do the magic. I know he smacked it a couple times. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my, the pistons are perfect. What? Yeah, the cylinders are perfect. The pistons are perfect. Oh, darn. I was sure that the thing crashed and I was just dying inside. Look at that. I'm so happy right now, dude. So happy. Oh, yeah, God. here. that even. is one, even. That, that's one ratty looking head gasket. Right? Though. I mean, it's. It had to have been a head gasket failure. Well, I mean, you can see it. I don't, you can see all the way through. Yep, it ate through. Wow. So, Man. distributor Lucky. seals, head gasket, and uh, we're good. I sure hope those distributor seals are in stock, man. Yeah. Woohoo! How pumped are you now? I'm pumped. Oh, I'm this, pumped. It's gonna go back together easy. What's this? Transmission fluid fill for the manual, I assume? Something weird? Oh, breather for the manual. It would make sense, I think. There's nothing going back there but neutral safety and a breather. I, I thought that was like a sippy tube. Oh yeah, yeah, that's how you take a drink of the world. Get, get a little sippy sip? Of course, yeah. I mean, what what if you're stranded in the desert and you need a little drink? Yeah. Manual you transmission cool fluid. Off. I mean, look, we already got the, uh, <laughs> the coolant. <laughs> we do have server. Was... Okay, so now I know that that's the uh, uh, upper heater core hose that we have to replace. <sighs> I need to go on a hose buying mission tomorrow. <laughs> Every hose has to be replaced. No doubt. Yeah. I want this thing to run forever with no failures after this. You know, well, you know, another 171,000 miles. Is that all? That's what's on it. Huh. Yeah. It's really not bad. Nice. And those cylinders look so good. Can yeah, you guys? There's no scoring. There's no, well, no. Nobody Nothing. Hate. They're beautiful. Gabe and I are calling it. We were going to put it back together tonight, but of course now we need some seals and a few other things that we can't get at 10. Close, our rally's just closed one hour ago. That's not bad. If only the intake manifold had come off faster. Yeah, I, I know, dude. <laughs> if only all 100 screws just came right out. 40 brackets. We'd be fine, <laughs> yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I guess there'll be a second video where we put this back together because there's no way it's going back together today. Might go back together tomorrow. That would be sweet. You get the parts. Yep, we'll see, we'll see. I gotta order some parts. Uh, cam bearings look good too. So thanks a ton to Gabe for helping and uh, that does it for today guys. Please like, share, subscribe, do whatever you want to do and I will talk to you next time. Yeah, now I just have to get that uh, manifold over to Ryan and get that welded and somehow try to get that back tomorrow if it's going back together tomorrow and get all those O-rings that are probably impossible to find and yeah. Oh. No, so there's there's got to be some... <laughs> uh, I'm sure. Here's what I'm really working on at night. I'm scared to death that my old pedestal sump pump's gonna fail because it's probably like, I mean, at this point, I've been in this house for like seven years and that pump looks like it's been in here for 20 more, so it's probably about the age of the house. Uh, it's time to upgrade the sump pump to one that won't fail, especially if the power goes out. Come on, go in your holder. What is going on? So I got this new bad boy.
Oh, ho, ho, ho. So, close as I can get to Tim Allen right there. A Wayne 12 volt and 120 volt sump pump. Oh, this is it. I'm kind of excited about this. 120 volt and oh yeah, 120 and a 12. And the 12 has its own little controller with a high flow. And uh, I don't quite know where that is yet. Oh, it's right here. Cool. Well, all right, we got a float. We just need the controller, which I think is in the battery box. And we're good to go. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get this in. Cut my PVC off right here. Drop some Schedule 40 down, shove it in there. This looks like a, like a 12 minute install. And I read some article that said it usually costs a thousand dollars and can take a few hours. In reality, it's like, seven minutes here it goes it looks really clean in real life and really bad on video anyway this is a 12 volt pump that's a 120 and the pump is just about to kick on watch how fast it empties this pit and here comes the click this is a blast to watch there it goes it's on you can't even tell it's running there's my battery backup. It has this huge, like 250 crazy, like amp hour battery or something. Uh, AGM deep cycle. And uh, this thing was so loud, it was annoying. I'm so excited to have this. And now I'm gonna put a cover on it too and make it look nice.